Welcome back. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into, transfer pricing. Now, transfer pricing may sound complex, but fear not. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of its definition and examples of transfer costs. Before we delve into the details, let's establish a clear definition of transfer pricing. In simple terms, Transfer pricing refers to the pricing of goods, services, or intellectual property transferred between related entities, such as different departments within a company or different companies within a multinational group. Now, why is transfer pricing important? Well, it plays a vital role in determining taxable income and ensuring fairness in international transactions. Governments want to prevent multinational corporations from shifting profits to low-tax jurisdictions, also known as tax havens. That's why transfer pricing regulations exist to ensure that transactions between related entities are conducted at arm's length, meaning they reflect what unrelated entities would agree upon in similar circumstances. Now that we have a solid understanding of transfer pricing let's move on to the different types of transfer costs. There are three main types, tangible, intangible, and services. Tangible transfer costs refer to the pricing of physical goods that are transferred between related entities. For example, if a manufacturing company in country A sells raw materials to its subsidiary in country B, the transfer price would be determined based on the market value of those materials. Moving on to intangible transfer costs, these involve the pricing of intellectual property, such as patents, copyrights, or trademarks, that are transferred between related entities. Imagine a software development company in country X licensing its technology to a subsidiary in country Y. The transfer price would be determined based on the value of the intellectual property being transferred. Lastly, we have services transfer costs. These involve the pricing of services provided by one related entity to another. For instance, if a consulting firm in country C provides marketing services to its affiliate in country D, the transfer price would be determined based on the fair market value of those services. It's important to note that transfer pricing rules vary from country to country. Many countries have adopted the arm's length principle, which requires related entities to price their transactions as if they were dealing with unrelated parties. This principle is also supported by international organizations such as the OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, so you won't miss it. Thank you for watching.